What the M1 is, so it extends battery life. The performance testing for M1 versus Intel has been good. M1 outperformed uh, Intel head to head. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have Muzzy with me because we just bought the new MacBook. This is the 13 inch. Um, I think it's the 16, let me look at it. I have the box with me as well. So, this is a 16 gigabyte memory, um, one TB SSD. Again, 13 inch MacBook Pro, and this does come with the new Apple M1. I'm not really familiar with this. I needed a new laptop, and we'll get into the reasons why we chose this one in particular. Um, but I have Muzzy with me because he can better explain what is M1 and what is exactly like cool about it and why we got this versus the 15 inch which does not have the m1 go ahead so i'm not an expert by any means but the short end of it is that uh in your computer and in most laptops and computers uh you have like a board that has different pieces on it almost like you know different gears in a machine and, and each of the pieces on this board is responsible for something very specific. Uh, and so what the M1 is, is a, a particular type of chip that combines a couple of what used to be separate components into one component. Uh, and what that offers laptops is one, the ability to be more efficient, right? Because uh, you have less pieces doing work uh, by their by themselves, right? It's all on one piece doing it, so it, it, there's an opportunity to l spend less energy doing a particular action. Uh, so it extends battery life. Uh, and then I think what he said, sorry to interrupt, um, is that the old laptops were were ten hours, and then this new one is twenty hours, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's the short end of it. And, uh, and then there's an opportunity for the power to also increase. Uh, you know, I think the, the performance testing for M1 versus Intel has been good. Uh, I think what I saw was M1 outperformed uh, Intel head to head. Uh, and so uh, for similar reasons why it's efficient on power, uh, same reasons why uh, it is more powerful as well. Microsoft tried to do this. What allowed Apple to be successful, I think, uh, like what Apple does with all of its products, is bring things in-house and, and have greater control over it. Um, and they just execute really well. So even though I'm not a, an Apple guy, so. He's not, no. but he does understand like technology, which is why it's a he's able to explain it well. Um, I do have a couple more questions and I'm sure yeah. you guys, um, maybe people who don't understand like myself or who are new to technology, um, what is the difference between eight gigabyte and 16 gigabyte? So my last laptop, which was a MacBook 2014 had eight gigabyte and this new one has 16. So what's the difference between the eight gigabyte and the 16? Yeah, so I think RAM, if I'm not mistaken, I think it sound, stands for RAM. I think it stands for readily accessible memory, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but the concept is that you, you have your hard drive and you have your RAM. Hard drive is what uh, I think most people would typically associate with memory. How much data can you store? How many music, uh, uh, videos, uh, how many pictures, uh, pictures et cetera, right? Songs, That's yeah. where you store memory. RAM though is, uh, re as if, if assuming I'm right, readily accessible memory. Um, it's at least used that way. It's the memory that the computer uses to perform actions. Uh, and so it's like short-term memory in, in a lot of ways. And, and the hard drive is long-term memory. So your RAM is short-term memory that, uh, so if, if I'm clicking something and or I do something, the, the computer itself has to remember what you did in order for programming languages to operate. Uh, so in short, the more RAM that you have, uh, the more uh, easily your laptop is able to manage multiple applications, especially those types of applications that uh, are pretty strenuous on the computer. Um, most folks, you know, Eight gigabyte, eight gigabytes of RAM is plenty, right? Uh, uh, you know, sixteen is, is a lot. 
it's only when you're trying to get into those types of applications that, that take up a lot of RAM is when you'd be interested in something like that, like video editing, etc., gaming, stuff. Got it. Okay, yeah. my last question before I get into why we want this one versus other laptops out there. Um, the terabyte. So I'm sure, I mean, I know that, you know, it's for storage purposes. Like we were, we were interested in the 512. We went into the store, they didn't have 512 available. They only had the one terabyte. And so Muzzy was explaining to me in store like, well, actually, one terabyte is better than 512, which is why. Essentially, like a right at the highest level, a terabyte. You break those two things up. Tera is is the the prefix. Byte is is the suffix. And so every thing takes a byte. That's how you measure the amount of space something takes uh, on, on a for like, in terms of computers and, and like digital products. Right, and so a gigabyte is smaller than a terabyte. Um, it's like millions versus billions, or thousands versus millions. So basically, it is for storage, right? Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely okay, for storage. Good. Yes, yeah, it's it's where you would store your applications, like if you're downloading a bunch of things, uh, or videos, pictures, music, what have you. Um, so yeah, like so, five hundred and twelve gigabytes is approximately half of a terabyte. That's so it's insane. twice as much more. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So the main reason why I wanted a new laptop. So previously I had the twenty fourteen MacBook, and I'm doing a lot of video editing, and it was just glitching on me. So whenever I tried to edit, it was just not working, and it was taking forever to export out and you know um, export out to YouTube. And it was just like not having it. And I, it was so difficult to edit on that computer that finally I was like, Muzzy, I need a new laptop, please. And obviously um, I'm self-employed. So I had to like um, talk to Muzzy about it and make sure it was okay for us to be able to invest in a new laptop for our content creation purposes. This one versus the 15 inch. Just for your information, the 15 inch, if you're interested, does not have the M1. So the M1, only the 13 inch MacBook Pro has that, and I believe the Air, right? Yes, I think so. So that's the number one reason why we went with like the 13 inch, because um, it had the M1 on it, so why not, right? Um, I, I was looking into 15 inch and 13 inch. I really wasn't looking into the Air just because the MacBook Pros are more efficient for like video editing and those sort of purposes. It It's pretty cool, right? It's, it, it's, it seems really nice. Um, I think the last time you, the Mac that you had was yeah. about six years old. Yeah, 2014. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, it was time for an upgrade. Yeah. yeah, I think all the, the different technical mumbo jumbos of this new laptop, it's, yeah. It's uh, it's a huge difference from what she had, and, yeah. and so far it's a great experience, right? Your editing has been pretty smooth. Yeah, so I used it today for the first time. Uh, I'm gonna include like a small unboxing of what I did yesterday. It was like a minute long, very basic, nothing crazy, but I wanted to have that experience with you guys. Um, I used it today for the first time to edit my YouTube video that I just posted, so go watch <laughs> that video too. Um, and it was very smooth. I had to take some videos and pictures from my iPhone to my MacBook and that was seamless. Um, also the audio I noticed was like very, very good on this laptop compared to the 2014 version. What else? Um, early 2015 technically. Early 2015 version. I think that those are the two main things that I really um, noticed today was that the editing in iMovie was very smooth. The audio was like very nice and I really enjoyed the experience so far. If I do have any other um, things to add or share with you guys, I will talk to you guys in another video. You know what I just realized? What? Your old MacBook uh, was as old as our relationship. <laughs> that is true. Early 2015. That is true, yeah. You, you got it like right before we got together. Yeah. And uh, and it's been with us ever since. So now it's kind of sad. <laughs> I don't think it's sad. It's a new beginning. Well, yeah, but it's when I when I had a car, right? And I, this is the first time I ever felt this way. I had to like part ways with it because it was it was wrecked. Um, and uh, 
I felt sad in a way I've never felt sad about a material good before because there was so many so much sentimental value attached to it. I don't know if I have a lot of sentimental sentimental value to your the like laptop, laptop but Just still like, like five years, yeah, like you know. That's crazy. Yeah. And this actually brings me to our other video that we're actually going to be doing um, because it is Valentine's Day soon. I'm going to be doing like a relationship video um, with Muzzy, so be on the lookout for that as yeah. well. Um, and that is it for this video. I just wanted to keep it short and sweet and give you guys all the information that we have. Until next time. Okay, I just got the MacBook and I'm just going to do a quick unboxing with you guys and then I will do like a detailed talk with you guys tomorrow. Once I open it up, then I'll talk to you guys about the M1 and all that kind of good stuff. So this is what it looks like have not even opened the plastic up. This is what it looks like, you know, standard, the back, you know, and let's just give it an open. I mean, to be honest, that's why I'm like putting it at the very end of my video. It's just gonna be a laptop and um, the charger. So it's not like anything like intriguing, I feel, but I will be talking in depth about the laptop and why I got this specific laptop and all about the M1. Let's take it out. Ta-da! Okay, so this is what it looks like. It is the Space Gray. I chose the Space Gray. I believe they have Space Gray and Silver. And this is the 13-inch MacBook Pro. It comes obviously with the laptop that I just showed you. And then with the charging cable and then the actual like adapter. This is what the adapter looks like. This is the charging cable, so it comes with both of these things. There is probably like some user manual, user guide for people who haven't used um, a MacBook before. And I think that's literally it. There's nothing else in this box. So you can't even like open this thing. So that's literally it. And that is the unboxing guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh -huh.